Hi, everyone. We are live at the Pace Studio in New York right now with the Dead South, all the way from Saskatchewan. Guys, thanks for coming. Thanks for having us. Yeah, we appreciate it very much. Um, we're about to share your music with the internet. Um, you're going to play, play three songs today off Sugar and Joy, which is out right now on Six Shooter Records. And tell us what's coming up first. We're going to start off with uh, Black Lung, I believe. That's right. Yeah. As the big axe swings, the void of the mind closes in. The devil came and the angels sang a song of the Holy Ghost. He tempted the soul from the pennies to the gold, like the dust I spit from my mouth. Thank you guys. This sounds great. This is exactly how I want to start my Thursday. Thanks for coming and doing this. Yeah, thanks for having us in. Yeah, um, you've got uh, a good crowd tuned in right now. There's people all over the place. Russia is here, Western New York, Illinois, um, uh, Ohio is here. There's just uh, a lot of enthusiastic and supportive cursing going on in the right, uh, in the comments yeah. section. So good for you, the internet. Well done. This looks great. <laughs> Keep it coming, um, guys. Thanks for doing this. And uh, can we talk a little bit about the? Um, so you're playing Warsaw tonight. Yeah. In Brooklyn, uh, there's a ton of shows, and they're all up at at thedeadsouth.com, of course. And there's dates announced through the end of 2020. Um, so you guys are going to be busy. Can we talk a little bit about the uh, the partnerships that you guys have developed with ethical ticketing partners to make sure that uh, the the big ticket company and scalpers are not the only ones uh, uh, with access to tickets? You want to take this one, Cole? Go for it. That's a good one. All right. Uh, yeah, we try our best. I mean, we try to make it so that uh, you, you can find tickets on our website so that they take you to the proper sources to buy tickets. The tough thing is that a lot of people will buy up some tickets, 
and then they will still start selling for more than we are offering them for, which is kind of a piss off for us. We really don't like that, and it bothers us quite a bit. And uh, yeah, then there's the people out there just trying to scam you, tell you're gonna get a ticket, and then they don't send you one, and you're paying big bucks for it. So we try really hard to uh, just promote going to our website to buy tickets. That's where they're going to be legitimate and you're going to get what you're looking for. And there's also some fan pages and stuff where people are selling tickets legitimately as well because they actually care. So if you just kind of follow a lot of those things, you're going to find the, the right tickets for the right price, which is not too much. Nice. Good, man. Well, um, is that something that your your fan community has embraced? I mean, I would imagine that if people are well aware that this is something that is important to you guys, that if your fans see that sort of shit happening out in front of the venue, that they would pipe up and say, dude, not here. I mean, I think so. Um, I think that people care enough to speak up about it. And I mean, it's it's such a piss off when when you get a message like, "Hey, I just uh, got a ticket that was, I paid like three hundred bucks for." It's like, are you kidding me? That's that ticket's thirty five bucks probably. Yeah. You know, or else someone's like, "I paid a couple hundred bucks and it didn't show up. I I can't even come to the show now." It's like that's that's pretty fucked. Yeah. Sorry. I don't fucking swear, but yeah, yeah, dude, curse all you want. You should re- read the. Uh comment section afterwards it's full of, <laughs> yes we can curse all we want say all any right. word you want um well so, cool man have a great show at at um uh warsaw tonight theater of living arts in philly tomorrow and then you're at the Fillmore in silver spring on saturday um enjoy all of those very much travel safely between all of them and we've got a lot more music happening what's coming up second uh we're gonna play a song called blue trash next <laughs> and uh yeah it's a nice one I wrote uh, just going into, in Alabama, we wrote this one when we were sitting around doing some recording. We had no lyrics, we wrote them the day of the show, or not of the show, of the moment that we uh, recorded it, so here it is. Ready boys? Ready boys. <laughs> About missing that banjo sound, take a picking good and greasy banjo gun all the way back to my to grab your gun. You keep playing in your mind, that man was playing time after time. Those backshot beats are feeling just fine. Take it away, push stops and gravy trains. Where is the car?
singing sounds right. Demons playing, there ain't no fight. Will you pray? This music will. Thank you guys, man. It sounds great. Um, we're, I'm back here cutting between the, the wide camera, the close up, but I'm hardly cutting at all. I'm sticking on the wide because there's right. so much going on everywhere. And it's a good problem to have from, uh, from this perspective that there's just yeah. so much happening up there that uh, I just want to see all of it all the time. So well done, guys. Thank you. Um, Elmer Fudd from the internet asks a wonderful question. Um, he wanted, you, you got into, uh, you started to talk about um, uh, Alabama that you guys decided to, to record down there. Um, Elmer asks why, um, what were some of the reasons behind wanting to record, uh, record in that area? <laughs> you guys want to take that one? Oh, all right, I got it. Um, well, the, we did our last two albums um, <laughs> at home in Regina, Saskatchewan. And uh, for this, uh, for this most recent one, we decided that we wanted to, step outside of our comfort zone and try somewhere new. And uh, our manager, Chris Winters, um, had suggested trying something in Alabama. And uh, then he threw the name Jimmy Nutt out. We'd never heard of Jimmy Nutt. And Jimmy Nutt had never heard of us either, which was perfect. So we went down there. We were just kind of talking. We look over our shoulder, and there's a Grammy. Oh, what's that about? <laughs> it was a bluegrass Grammy he won with um, Steel, drivers. Steel Drivers. Oh, nice. They've done one of these things not, not too very long ago. All right, yeah. yeah. Well, those guys are awesome. And uh, yeah, it just uh, it was perfect chemistry. So uh, we went down just to go meet him, try out a couple songs, and we kind of fell in love with it. It's a really cool area. Yeah. Nice. Went, went down in September and recorded some demos, and then we, yeah, we just loved the experience so much. We decided to go back in January and, yeah, do the whole thing. Nice. We've got a, a seven-time Grammy winner behind that curtain over there. Mr. Bob Mallory over there has won seven of those, so we're in, right. in good company. I think it's going to sound... I mean, you're going to be happy with the way this sounds once you go back on the internet and listen to it. Everyone's stoked right now, so thank you guys for making all these people on the other side of these screens happy. Um, there's a ton of people tuned in, and uh, this is going great. Yeah, thanks for making it sound good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not doing any of that. I'm making you look good. Bob's making you sound good. Um, and you are, you are making you sound good. Um... um uh, what's coming up third? You're doing a third song off Sugar and Joy, which is out right now on Six Shooter Records. Uh, we're going to play you guys a song called Broken Cowboy. I'm just going to tune it so that it uh, makes sure we're sounding good here still. Sorry, man. Taro is behind the controls right now. Bob is not behind the controls okay. right now. That's, well, I we did still not... trust you in Taro. Yes. <laughs> There's a lot of expertise in that room back there. Creek bed. And when 
I was a young man I helped build this land Oh, I put down these rails As a CPR man Thought I'd live forever With my heart in my pocket On my gun by my side And my feelings in a locket I was a cold year in 77, but I married my wife. We had two kids. I gave her a daughter. She gave me a son. No, we roared those damn voices until we had none. Racing cars and robbing trains I thought I had it all But then one day I got the call My father's worst dream My son went down And I The colors deceived me
dude, thank you very much for coming through and doing this. Have a great show tonight at Warsaw in Brooklyn, uh, Philly tomorrow night. The Fillmore in Silver Spring, Maryland on Saturday. There's a ton of dates. The U.S. part of it wraps in Atlanta at the Buckhead Theater on January 25th. And then there are a ton of European dates, February through the end of 2020. Um, it's reflected very much in the comment sections of a very international crowd that's watching right now. So um, best of continued luck on uh, Sugar and Joy. It's out right now on Six Shooter Records. And uh, this has been great, man. Thank you guys for doing this. Thank you for having us in.